guys and welcome to another video so a lot of you asked what does the inspection do on Audi and um, pretty much this is a reminder that they want you to go to the dealer and spend your money on on checks uh, probably don't need but it is worth to do the checks but if you feel that your car is fine and you don't want to do any checks on it um, unfortunately I will show you they're not giving you the option to reset the inspection due okay so so if you go for the service intervals you will see it does not go to the inspection due um, section so once mine's reset anyway but if, but if your comes on the dash and it won't go away itself actually once it's due it will keep showing us overdue after that so to get rid of it there's only two options you either take it to a garage so they do some checks and reset it for you or you could do it yourself if you get one of the obd11 if you get obd11 and i'll show you in mine so what you can do is go on your app press these three arrows on the top left then car then press apps workshop and then the very last one says inspection service reset so if you press that then you press reset and then you hold um, the green um, circle at the bottom right you hold it until it resets to reset you need a uh, 10 credits I've only got five but I don't need to reset anyway because mine's reset so if you don't reset it nothing gonna happen this is just a reminder so you can go to the garage but if you want to get rid of this message you can only do it by the, doing by these two ways there's no other ways you can do it unfortunately it's just a tricky way so they can take you frequently to the garage they can make sure you your car is worthy um, for the road and also um, they can take your money um, probably because this inspection due comes quite frequently depends on your mileage basically but so you can see on mine it has 9200 miles I recently reset it so yeah well it is worth to check your car and every 10,000 miles anyway but if you already done it just in a private garage and they did not reset it for you and you could do it yourself or you can just go back to the dealer or you can go back to the garage and they do it for you but the, some garages will actually charge you for doing this um, plug in and uh, getting reset for you so I, I, I in the long term I recommend you have one of them devices where you can do it yourself because you save you some money pretty much that's it you know if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below okay hope this was helpful uh, that's it, thanks for watching.